Hey everyone, and today we are taking a look at Wingspan Digital. This is the digital implementation of the hugely successful engine building game Wingspan, which has gathered numerous awards from inside the board game industry, but has actually also gained some mainstream media attention because of its uh, educational and unique theme of creating your own bird sanctuary. Um, it's a game that has become one of my personal favorites over the last sort of year and a half in which I've I've owned it. I've also got the expansion, which I love dearly, and I'm looking forward to the new one. So I've got high hopes here for this implementation for this game. Um, this is all footage that I shot over the beta weekend that just uh, that just happened. So any footage here uh, could be subject to change, but I think this should give you a fairly good understanding of where the game is at and when the game releases. I'm sure it will be pretty similar to this. But just a warning, some things may be subject to change. If you do really like this video, then please do hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help me out here on YouTube. I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit. I'm doing lots of different bits of content. So I'm doing some Gloomhaven content, Frosthaven content, and I'd like to start doing a little bit more content about other board games that I particularly enjoy as well. So this is the first of that. I also do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash mandatory quest. You can catch me there every Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday, and I stream lots of different things. Uh, but yeah, this footage is from my stream from this past weekend, so come say hi in person. But without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Um, because then we've got one, we've already got two, we've already got two towards this, which is pretty good. Like, this is like, we, we can basically have a really insane, um, little combo with these two together. Can work really well. So we definitely want to keep this and this. Um... Um, ideally we want the, like the blue jay kind of needs to be the first card you, like bird you play. Because we're going to need to get food to play both of these into the water, which is what we're going to probably do. Probably. Because this is pretty strong. Because it's going to allow us to basically get two food and then basically start going off. So I feel like it's always best to get the Blue Jay out, like, immediately. Hey, look, we got another player. This is, like, a different person, too. A Puffin. A Blue Puffin. Yeah, so we get the Blue Jay out. Next turn, we get food, which will hopefully allow us to get two food, uh, which will then allow us to play both our Mallard and our Barn Swallow. Um, you, you kind of want these tuck effects on the bottom row, even though we can put it into the middle row. Like, we want them to be down here because this is where we're going to get all of our cards. So... I don't really like putting, like, card tuck effects in other rows, because... Like, this is about getting eggs, so I'd much rather have this be, like, insanely good at making eggs. This be really good at getting food, this just be really good at getting cards. And ideally we want the Barn Swallow first, because it's tucking... tucking it's tucking to then get it, because we want to be able to go Mallard, draw a card, then we can potentially tuck that card and draw a new one. Oh sweet, we got a game. We got a game. Um, alright. So we didn't get the food that we wanted. They've taken the food. Who, who are we playing against? Uh, it doesn't seem to show the player name every time. 
Sometimes it did. It was doing that on Friday. Um, so perhaps we can go and get a... Hmm. Should we go get a bird instead? We could lay eggs because we're going to need them. It's just a little bit frustrating that we can't get two food off of this. We could get one and place down the barn swallow. I mean, we're going to need to lay eggs, so we may as well lay eggs, like, because we're going to need to lay eggs at some point. So we may as well do that. I don't know if they've put anything in there. No, they haven't played a bird yet, so the chances are they're just going to play a bird now. It's not often that you see people, like, not play a bird on their first turn of the game. It must be because they kept a bit of a greedy hand, like a bit of a greedy keep. Oh, drawn bird cards. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe they have- maybe they have got a greedy hand and they're now, like, trying to draw to- draw to something. Hmm. Um, I can't remember what my secret thing is. How's here? Goes with that kind of nest. Nah. I mean, this is a really decent. Um, this is really decent. But if I do that, I'm kind of wasting a turn to only draw one card. Where ideally, I want to spend one action to get everything. So I think. I think I'm just going to have to get food. It's a little bit annoying. It's either that or I draw cards and I take just this flycatcher. Huh. Ah, no, let's get... We can, um... I really want to- I just really want to get the, this guy down before I start doing anything. I might have to play the- Yeah, I might have to actually, um... Um... I might actually have to just, like, get the mallard out first, just because. I mean, because I'm not going to be activating this bird. Like, it's not going to be activated. I'd be very surprised if I don't see, like... I mean, they've got- they must have quite a bit of food, right? They've got quite a bit of food. They've got no eggs, but they won't need eggs at this time. And they just haven't played anything. I just find that a little bit strange. They must have, like, an absolute monster of a hand or something. And they are just playing very greedy. That's my only... ...reasoning. Indigo bunting. Oh, that's the good one, right? Yeah. Indig yeah, this is... So there you go. This is, like, very, very good. Very, very good. Um, chances are they're probably going to go... They're probably going to go to the bird feeder now. I would think. Barn swallow. Barn swallows once nested I don't see why they wouldn't now. Because they can essentially get extra food for free so yep that's good for us though because that might mean now that we can get our reroll and we can actually now get two food so we could potentially get what we want for the mallard and for something else which is kind of what we want Um, hmm. I mean, it works. And we get two food, which is nice. 
means now that we can play our mallard down here, then we can draw cards. That's going to be pretty good. A lot of this game is working out like... Like, it's kind of like a, a fairly low interaction game with your opponent. Um... The only kind of main area of interaction is the bird feeder. So you have to kind of like be conscious of when you want to work around it. So obviously I could see that it was a really good opportunity for him to go to the bird feeder. So I may as well do something else. It's an, It would have been another good opportunity to go to the bird feeder maybe. Yeah, because there's oh, they were all mice. So it makes sense to do the reroll. Um, the fact that there's only one die means that's a bit strange. Maybe they... How does the indigo bunting work? Why didn't he gain that from the indigo bunting? A bit strange to me. Feel like he could have. Uh, there's only three cubes left. I need to spend one action to play the mallard, one action to lay eggs. So then I get one other action, which is probably going to be to draw cards. So I think that's pretty good. Yeah, Roy. Hey, Slated. How you doing, buddy? Thank you for the resub. Thank you, buddy. I'm much appreciated. How you doing? We're just, you know... Owning in uh, Wingspan, you know? Got my, my, got my card drawer engine going already with my Mallard and my Barn Swallow. Gonna just start drawing cards for days. Oh, he's drawn birds, eh? Interesting. <laughs> Mallard Swallow. It's a pretty good combo, right? Yeah, it's pretty strong. He took the card that I wanted, though. Bit of a dick move, my guy. That's okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, again, like, this ducks can be pretty good. But it's not amazing. I'm just thinking more to this. Like, at some point, I'm going to need to do this. These will reset, though, between rounds. So p potentially now's a good time for me to just lay my eggs... Uh, lay my eggs, the next turn I can, like, go get food. That's what I'm thinking. I do need to get something to play into my... Um... My plane. Which could be the cowbird. The cowbird's... I mean, maybe I should have gone for the cowbird, because the cowbird's really decent. I think it wor I think it works against the... Um... In your wetland. Barn Owl. Hmm. So they're going to try and, like, fight me on this? They're actually going to try and fight me on this. Hmm. I don't know why you would play... I went first, so they're going to fight me on that. So I, I might need to lay eggs again just to make sure that I win it. Or I could just split. I mean, I, I, I'm forcing him to have to do that in order to split. So... If he wants to split, then he can split with me. I think I want the cowbird. Now, do I want the merganizer as well? I think I do for the purposes of this. Um, this does work quite well with this, and also I can start, like, getting a lot of tuck stuff going, potentially. I mean, the cowbird is great. Hmm. I kind of want this, but also I just, I usually find that this is a bit naff. I might just draw randomly. Dick Sissel. Um, 
What does that do? Oh, that's good. It's basically get two cards. Okay, I want to go down. I do want to go down the tucking route. For sure. Maybe I do take this. Because then I could just start running this like crazy and I could end up getting quite a few points. <gasps> we did it. We got it. We've won. We've won. Um. This might just be a bit too much. Like, we want, we want one big point bird in our hand, which we've now got. Um. This might be too much. So I feel like we're gonna... Tuck this now. Because I really like the cowbird. So I'm going to tuck this. Uh, and we'll draw another one. Oh, sweet. It's strictly better. It's strictly better, right? Yeah. It's strictly better. So now he has to lay eggs. If he wants to tie with us on this. So we will see. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Might have better things to do. No, nope, tied it up. I mean, I think that's fine. Like, we can split. We can split there. That doesn't bother me too much. It's like, it's kind of, I guess it's a little bit annoying. But it's not that bad already. What did you do? Drawn birds. Okay. We need probably some food at this point in time. Which we can do. So we can get ourselves a worm. We could get ourselves a worm. And a wheat. Which will help us get this this down. Or do we want to get some sort of bird to play into there? Hmm. I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, the grebe as well. Oh, we so want the grebe. We really want the Grebe. I'm gonna need fish like crazy though, dude. I'm gonna need so much fish. And the golden eye is really good too. Okay. I, th I definitely want to take the Grebe. Uh, the golden eye is pretty decent too. Um, but I feel like I need to concentrate more on getting something in that middle one. But that's Clark's grieve. Well, sorry Clark, but it's my grieve now. This is nice too, but probably get rid of that. One. That's pretty... That's pretty crazy. That's that's good too. Look how much food all this stuff's gonna cost. It's like a card. Uh... Hmm. I mean, this is good because it can combo so well with that. I feel like this is going to be too expensive to, to play. Okay, great. <laughs> More cards! More cards! Well, we're set up now. We don't have to, we don't have to, like, draw many cards at all at this point in time. Now we just need to concentrate on making sure that we, we beat them on these. If we beat them on these, I think that that's like... 
that's pretty decent. And we're gonna do our uh, our other thing anyway. Okay, what does that do? Great crested flycatcher. Okay, so he wants to go to he wants to go to the bird feeder next turn for sure, for sure. Which means that it's probably a good opportunity for us to go to the bird feeder. Um. Yeah, so that was that that absolutely like means that's a real pain for him now because that's stopped and being able to take anything like really decent with his abilities. And uh, we ended up taking a lot of food. So now we can either sort of take some marginal food here or just not bother. I could probably start cashing a little bit with my blue jay as well, actually. Uh, see, gone for, gone for birds. Um, well, we just need to start like we need to start playing like crazy now. Um, Cowbird is good bird. Cowbird, best bird. I actually think that the cowbird is one of the strongest... Um, one of the strongest birds in the game. Well, it, there's a couple that have this kind of effect. But it's one of the only ones that actually works really well on in a two-player game. So a lot of the two-player... Like, a lot of these cards fall down in two-player. But this one's actually still really good in two-player. Because they're going to lay eggs. They have to lay eggs. Like, if you're playing the game, you have to lay eggs. So they have no choice. Um... We need fishes. Uh, and I can reroll, so we'll go for it. Come on, give me the fish. I mean, we needed a berry. Do we need a worm? We need another worm and we need a berry. So we need a worm. We'll discard. I think we are, we're going to have to discard this guy. I just don't think he's going to be. Yeah, I think we just discard this guy. Uh, we can take that. Uh, we still take it because we're going to have to use these as wilds to play our uh, <laughs> our other ones. But this is like this is like a really nice little engine that we've got going now. Like really nice. We're in an, the only I say my only concern at the moment is that we need to be able to get to this. So playing the flycatcher is going to be great because then we can start just making eggs, getting things that we need. Um, that's going to be super good. But we do need we do need some sort of like vehicle for eggs at this point in time. Some sort of egg vehicle. And it would be good to get this this guy out because Well actually we we could just get the grebe out instead, actually. Because it's got a star. So this counts stars as well, I believe. Because we've got what we only got one, two. Yeah. So we can quite easily um, win this, I think. Quite easily. So we can play the flycatcher. And uh, we want to spend the egg up here. That's big points. That's big points. But 
like this this ability will just like i mean it speeds the game up it's like kind of like enables all players to start doing well um we've got two actions left so we have to bear in mind here that we're gonna probably lay three eggs um and we're gonna be laying those three eggs and they're gonna go all into this nest type um or potentially this actually the star nest types so we'll put them all in the star nest types I guess then, so the, our other thing's going to be to gain food. Oh, good, and there's fish there. So we can gain food, we can gain the f that. This will also allow us to take this. That's pretty good, actually, for us right now. So we can take that. And... And I think I'm going to start cashing for points. <laughs> take a point. I don't usually do that, but... I just feel like we've got a lot of food. Like, we've, we've got the right kind of balance of food. And now we don't necessarily even have to, to uh, spend the wilds. We could play the Black Skimmer if we wanted to. Which, if we're ever going to draw more cards, we should be thinking about doing. I think we've already done this because we've already got everything that we need for that. So they've laid eggs. Sweet. So we can now uh, lay an egg there. Um, how are the, how are we doing? Okay, we're tied, so yeah, they're gonna make me lay eggs. That's fine. We knew that was coming. We want to put them on the, any of the star ones if we can. But, I think we can. But, it's important, we need to start making sure that we're winning this, which is good. Um, so, we've got quite a lot of cards. We're going to need to draw some though, but this is going to be like, this Greep's actually going to be like really good, um, for the next round. Because we, we're also winning this and then we want to, we want to start doing this because this counts as another one of these birds. So the Greep is actually going to be... Quite nice. So I think the first thing we want to do is probably play the Grebe. Um, we'll spend an egg from here. Clark's Grebe. Clark was a 19th century surveyor who collected specimens for the Smithsonian. Oh, good job, Clark. Good job, Clark. So, the wood duck would actually be quite a nice one to get. Look at that, draw two. All of the cards in the world. You've drawn birds. This, I don't know, like, I seem to be drawing a lot of cards. Now, I don't know if that's just... Like, I don't know, like, they seem to, like, they seem to not be playing loads and loads of birds, and it makes me worried that they've got some sort of, like, really good hand. Like, they've got something in their hand that's, like, pretty good, and they're just waiting for a really good opportunity to play it. Um... The war this warbler would be nice. This is this is naff, so we don't want that. So perhaps we do uh, we do this. I mean, just straight up seven points is kind of nice. Not difficult to play. This is going to count for this though at the end, and we want to we want to fight that. Let me check these a second. 
How are we doing? Oh, we're already smashing him on this. So at the moment, I think he, they're trying to make sure they win the last one. So we need to try and contest the last one. Um... So the wood duck would help us do that. I might do one blind first. See what we get. Chimney Swift. This bird always throws me because it's so, like, rounded. <laughs> I like, th this bird surely can't look like this in real life, can it? I mean, that's pretty much a discard. We'll take... We'll take the duck. And we'll actually spend a... To draw another one. Okay, this is quite nice, actually, because it allows us to kind of combo. Um, draw a card. I think I want this cause for the just for the points, dude. Uh, Mallard. Choose a card. We'll draw that. Ooh, that's pretty... That's pretty amazing as well. Maybe a bit late, though. I think the Chimney Swift is the one I want to get rid of. I, I, I can't be bothered to play the Chimney Swift. House Wren. Oh, wow. This is pretty good. Now I need to discard a card. Is it the skimmer? I mean, it's worth six points, though. Hmm. The house wren's actually nice for this. This is, like, really strong, but maybe it's too late. I mean, we're getting towards the end of the, of the game, so I need to, like... I need to, like, basically focus in on what it is that I'm going to play. Am I going to play the Wood Duck? Maybe. Am I going to play the Savannah Sparrow? Possibly. In fact, I could combo this and this and this. That would be sick, actually. Let's get rid of this. This is just not... It's not something that we're going to be able to get around to playing. It's just too expensive. But we've actually got, like, an insane combo. An insane combo. We are going to go off at some point. I just need to keep an eye on this. We've already managed to do this, so we can pretty much rest easy. I don't know if we've done six, though. One, two, three. Only done three so far, actually. So we need to, we do need to play one more of these. Which is probably going to be the Savannah Sparrow, to be honest. We're not going to get the higher amount. Maybe a bit sucky, but... Okay. So now all we really need to do is load up on food. Like, we just need to load up on food like crazy. Um... Because what we need is we need... In an ideal situation, what we need is we need... Uh, so we need one... One bug. One wheat. So three bugs... One wheat. Three bugs, one wheat. Or four bugs would also do it. Um... I'm gonna have to start discarding. I think... I think the... I think I might have to let the skimmer go. No, I should let the wood, the wood duck go. 
Yeah, I should let the wood duck go. I might have to just, like... I might not be able to fight him so much on this. I'm sorry, wood duck. But you're too, you're too expensive. Okay, good. Um, we'll take it because we are going to need a lot of stuff. Okay, so I think I think we've got enough because we can just trade the wheat in to do it. Um, so we just need to keep an eye on what our opponent's doing. But in theory, we're going to just completely go off in the next few turns. We'll play three birds in a single turn. Um. Then we just need to lay eggs and basically catch them, hopefully, by surprise. And then for the rem probably for the rem remainder of the game, we are literally just laying eggs every single every single turn. Most likely. I mean, we may do something something else, but probably not. Um... So the idea here is that we play this. So we're going to need one, two, three, four eggs to do this. Um, okay, so the first thing we do is we play this. We use um, a wheat for this. I've got to work out that I've done this right. Because then we're down to three wheat. Then we use one... That's down to one, one, two, three. Yeah, we've got it. We've got it. Guess we play that. Uh, and then we spend an egg from here. Savannah Sparrow. This sparrow is named after both Savannah, Georgia and Sandwich Sound, Alaska. Okay. Then we play this. And we pay one for that. Then we spend eggs. House Wren. House okay, then we play the Hooded Warbler up here. Combo, chat. I mean, we just we that, that's that's like pretty that's pretty boss. That's pretty boss. I would be worried now for that. I think that I, I'm pretty confident about this game now. That's like really good. Because now we've just got like so many spaces for eggs as well. So that we're going into the final like I don't like to be playing too many cards in the final round. Like you maybe want to play one card and you kind of want to have the food already for it. Um... But now, like, I'm in a position where I can just, like, really start going crazy um, with laying eggs. Like, we could just lay a load of eggs here. Um, ensure that we cover ourselves with this pretty, pretty easily. Um, we do have two cubes left, though. So, we only need to lay eggs once. So, I guess we, it would be nice if we can get fish, maybe. If we could have, if we could have got fish for this guy, I would say, great, we'll do that, and then we'll play this, and then, like, we are done. I don't think we've done this yet, though, right? Four to five. We've only got one, two, three, four. Yeah, we've got four. One, two, three. Yeah, we've got four. So we've done it. We've done that, which is, which is nice. We got four points out of it. So... We can either lay eggs, or we could potentially draw cards, and then wait to see if he lays eggs, and then we can lay eggs to just counter it. There isn't really anything here that I'm, like, massively interested in, though. And food-wise, there's nothing great food-wise here either. I mean, we can basically get two food and maybe get a, a point. Oh, I don't think that's something that we want to do. I think we're... I'm pretty happy just laying eggs now at this point in time. 
So we just need to load up uh, this guy, this guy. Yeah. Yeah, for now we just do that, I think. And this hasn't updated, but we've got way more than, than that. I wonder if that's like... I hope it updates their end. Otherwise, that could be a bit awkward. It's much nicer playing this game just one game at a time. Has to be said. When I was... Like on Friday night, when we were just like multitasking, that was like a bit much. We're playing one game at a time, I can kind of like explain what I'm thinking and, you know, we can concentrate on maximizing our value. Like, I don't think there's much point in us playing the Black Skimmer. But talking is fun. Yeah. Yeah. It is. I was kind of hoping that Chaz was going to um, pop his head in today at some point. Because we can play um, we can play um, one of our challenge series games of Terraforming Mars if he likes. It's, di it's difficult to... Yeah, it's difficult to play this um, game like really, really like multitasking and concentrating a lot. Because you just forget what cards you need on each game. Or I do, anyway. It's like people who play, like, poker and stuff, and they play, like, multiple tables at the same time online. I'm kind of like... How do you, like... How does your attention, you know, not... go crazy, you know? Um, get free egg. Heck. Um, so a challenge a challenge has been made. Oh, okay, I can only go up to four anyway. Oh, the max that they can get to is four. And we are currently on five. So we're we're good. We good. It's not too much thinking. You either have it or not. Well, it depends because, like, if you play poker at, like, a reasonably high level, then you should be keeping track of your opponents and, like, you know, what their tendencies are, like, what their range is and stuff like that, which I find more difficult. Um... I mean, when you're just playing for, like, low amounts, it probably doesn't matter as much. But when you're playing for, like, uh, fairly decent amounts, it is, you know, you need to, like, keep an eye on, like, oh, this player's really aggressive. Um, you know, maybe I should be, like, if they're really aggressive, maybe I should be calling them with, like, slightly weaker hands because they're probably just trying to bully people as much as possible. Um... See, this is this would be a really good one to get because it's pretty simple to play. I can play it, and it's a star, so it's basically like another one of these birds. I think I'm gonna draw cards. Um, we're taking that, and then I think we're just gonna start blind drawing. Ooh, double-crested corom cormorant. Cormorant. Oh, that's that's super strong if you get lots of fish, but fish have not been uh, a good commodity in this game. Uh, let's draw another one. Set that one before, I think. Draw another one. Oh wow, that's this is like one of the best early game cards. So good. 
Uh, tuck a card from hand. I mean, this is another one of those, but I think we're just going to have to stay with that. Also, we've ended up tucking four cards with the Barn Swallow, which is, like, pretty insane. I mean... I mean, it might be a good idea to just play this one instead, you know? Because it's got four slots rather than two. It counts for this. And in theory, we could play it onto this slot here, which will allow us to unlock potentially an extra egg. I think that's about right. I think that's the best way of doing it. But to be honest, I'm not probably going to do anything much other than laying eggs in this next round. Because I'm going to fight this as much as I can. So at the moment, I've got 65. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to 100 with this. I think this is going to be a score in the high 80s. Maybe 90. I think that's probably where my score is going to end up. Which is a strong score. It's not like as crazy as Lone's score from Friday, where he got like 119. That was pretty. That was pretty nuts. I think that might be the most I've ever seen anyone score in wings, wingspan. I mean, it's got to be up there. We do keep track of our high scores for the board game, so I could probably check. Have a look and see what my personal best score is. Oh, my top my top score is only eighty eight. That's surprising. Okay, so we've got five actions. So basically, do we have 20 slots for eggs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Pretty much. But we can, we can do this, which is potentially going to enable us to get a few more eggs. Also, we have this guy who's going to probably end up giving us one or two maybe more eggs at the end here because, I mean, my opponent's going to want to lay eggs. I mean, that's just sort of like generally what you end up doing in the last round, just to get those extra points in. So I don't have much of a huge incentive to play to play this but it's going to cost me two points so basically it wipes its face it's going to cost me an action and two points to play it but then afterwards it's going to potentially give me an additional uh bit of stuff oh you gain food it's kind of annoying because i mean this will give me one extra food which i can then use so now I'm going to have an extra two food. So essentially it's going to get that two back and it's going to help me win this potentially. I think it's probably worthwhile doing. Mm. 
Northern Flicker. These woodpeckers seek out ground dwelling insects rather than pickers. So now now we just basically lay eggs for the rest of uh rest of the game. Oh. Very nice. That was probably marginal, but I feel like because I don't know what my opponent's going to do with this last one. I mean, I know we're winning it right now, but we're not winning it by a huge amount, and they may have just not laid eggs yet. And then, you know, I haven't been checking. But this could be, like, pretty... pretty good. I think they gained food, right, as their first action, so they're presumably going to be playing a bird, otherwise they wouldn't bother. It's just whether or not they play it, like, now or not, I guess. Why doesn't it, like, it showed me my score some, one time, and it doesn't seem to always show you your score. I don't know why that is. I think it would be nice if there was, like, just a, a representation of your score, like... Here? I don't want it to be, maybe, maybe it'd be too busy, but it would be nice, or, like, up here, like, just your score. Just so that you don't... Like, because I, I know what a good score roughly is. So... You know, if you're if you if you're scoring in the, like... If you're scoring in the, like, the, the high 70s, 80s plus, you know, that's a good score. That could, That's probably going to be a winning score. Depending on... On your opponent, but... This Northern Flicker looks really weird as well, doesn't it? It's like a beady eye, and it's got like a little mustache. It's like Dr. Robotnik, but it's a bird. It's the Dr. Robotnik of all birds. Hmm. They're obviously going- they're obviously going into the tank a little bit now. Because every action counts in the last round, it really does. They got obviously... Survey their options. Depending on what their their secret goal is, they may be doing all right. I don't know if they actually played anything that was. Um, see, look, this is really strong. They can basically get five eggs. So laying eggs is great. Uh, they've got one cash point here. To be honest, they haven't actually played that many birds. I think that's been the downfall for this player. I don't know if that's just because they've gone for more expensive stuff. Like, everything costs two. Look. Everything costs two resources here. This costs three. This costs two. This costs two. This costs two. I mean, they're worth a lot of points. Don't get me wrong. I mean, these, this is good scoring. But in my experience, like, you want to mix. Because it allows you to get to these higher spots, which just allows you kind of snowball. But they're going to get a lot of points from their bird cards. I mean, much, probably more than me, but I mean, I do have a couple of eights that are bringing the, uh, bringing the points up. You know, I got a five and eight. Uh, a five. Uh, just a one, but I've cashed four with it, which is pretty good. A seven. So they they might actually we're actually probably being pretty similar in bird points even though I've played much much more they'll probably be pretty similar. But that was a lot of that was to do with these sparrows they're just like that was a pretty crazy turn of events. A pretty crazy turn of events. They're taking a while on their turn, too. 
Well. I imagine it's they've got a lot to think about. They obviously want to play a bird, but they're probably trying to work out whether or not it's worth it. Because that's the usually the thing is that you 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 get a bird, but you have to use eggs, and eggs are points. So, like that's why I think that maybe playing this wasn't worth it. Because although it gave me two points, I had to get rid of two points. So basically, it cost me an action. It cost me a resource um, for no points, really. All just so that I could potentially challenge a bit more with this and potentially get this action, which is to use my extra food at the end to get myself some more eggs. And it's going to work really well because of the scissor-tailed flycatcher is going to essentially give me one every time. So every time I take that action, I'm going to be getting food anyway. So I'm going to be getting an extra food in order to be able to lay eggs. So actually... Getting there is actually really super good. And to be honest, I could have probably played any bird there, not that one. I specifically played this one though because of the the um the nest. Yeah. So literally all I do is I I I just do this now. This is all I do. Um And like I, I will, I will rock it up this now. Like I should rock it up that now. I am capped slightly with this, but I think the. These, like the star nest type um, birds, like these, are just insanely good. Especially if these kinds of conditions come up. It's just like, they because they work for the multiple conditions. It just means you don't have to worry about, like, diversifying. You can literally just focus in. Like, for me to have two of these with, like, all three of these it's just mental because it's just it's just so easy for me to do i just play them down here fill them up with eggs and they're gonna do everything oh there you go my cow see my cow bird coming in cow bird coming in So it's just, yeah, I mean, we've, we've gotten amazing value. And it said he laid eggs, so the chances are he's going to lay eggs probably again. We've ended up tying, which is interesting. I didn't think we would tie, I thought I would probably take it. Must have played another bird. One. Two, three, four. Hey, okay. one, two, three, four. How many have I got? One, two, just three, four. Uh, yeah. It's probably worked out that they can't... <sighs> the fact that they laid eggs then tells me that they probably don't have the other bird that they need in order to win the last... Um, round. So we'll probably end up splitting points. Because otherwise they would have just played... So this is going to be lay eggs. Oh, interesting. Into your phone. Oh, he's got it. Oh, they got the win. Okay, so I can't, I can't beat them. I can't beat them on that. We're gonna come second on the last one. That's, 
that's going to cap us. And the two new bonus cards, that's actually pretty decent. They could end up getting some some good some good scoring there. I still feel pretty confident, but... I mean, I could just play this, just uh, troll. But it's just not worth the points because it's going to cost me... Um, I mean, how many points? It's going to cost me two to basically gain two, and I and I and I miss out on generating for like five points with this. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm I'm just doing this every time. I appreciate it that I can't. Um, oh, hang on, I don't want to put them on that bird because of the cow bird. Because he's going to need to... He's going to need to activate it. He's going to need to lay eggs. This, his last turn's going to be lay eggs. We will see, but that's my suspicion. Yeah, we're at, we're at 76 at the moment. That's not great. And we're not going to get... So we're actually going to end up with like a score maybe in like... It's actually not that great. I was really confident about this going, going into it, but... That's a beatable score. If we... Oh, and I'm going to lose the last one too, right? Yeah. So, hmm. So it's gonna be eight and four. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. So I just lay eggs again. But it's kind of annoying. Um. Yeah. Only seven? Why is it not eight? That's fine. Here we go. I... I don't know. I'm gonna lose, dude. I mean, I've got lots of eggs, though, man. Woo! Oh we! I thought I was gonna lose. The eggs. It's all about them eggs. They got us back in the game. I thought I was gonna lose. That was a good game. That was a really good game. So there is some Wingspan Digital gameplay. I have to say they have done an amazing job at bringing all of the original kind of artwork and style to life here in a digital form. It really just feels like Wingspan when you log in and when you start playing. It just feels like the game. I also like that they've managed to keep the UI nice and clean. It feels very intuitive. It feels like you know where you need to go for everything. It just seems really smooth. You can tell that they've designed this game um, to be used on a tablet just the way that they've made everything to be very simple series of different clicks this is coming out on nintendo switch as well um, and i think it's going to work really really well on the switch uh, in fact i may actually pick it up on my switch instead of picking it up for my computer because i think it would be a nice game to play on the go my only kind of criticism so far really of the game is that the multiplayer system is kind of lacking in the multiplayer system at the moment uh, we don't have some sort of basic functions that i would expect expect to see. Uh, we don't have a chat function. Now that might not be possible on Nintendo Switch because I know that Nintendo has some extremely strict rules of communication in their games. But as a Steam user and as I played this on Steam on the PC, um, I wanted to see that. There needs to be a chat function so that I can chat with my opponent just to say, you know, 
be nice to them hopefully say good game wish them luck but also to check to see if they're there and they are playing because at the moment uh, when you set up a game you get a 24-hour lobby and in that 24-hour lobby basically you can just take turns so that will suit some people who like to take a turn and then maybe disappear and go do something else and then come back to the game but when I play a game I usually like to sit at the table and actually sort of play it from start to finish in one sitting so I would like there to be more play options there so that we can do that as well as it would be nice to be able to have maybe in the future some kind of behavior or ranking system for for that but this is a beta so for all i know those are planned features they just didn't quite make it into this beta apart from that i have to say i am very impressed with it it works very well i think things are shaping up really really well for this game um, i'm excited to see the full release and i'm gonna keep my eye on it for sure if you like this video guys please do hit that like button and please hit subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos i do make lots of gloomhaven and Frosthaven content and this is my first sort of board just board game related um video but i will have some more coming hopefully soon i plan on talking about the blood rage digital release which is coming out soon uh, i also stream regularly on twitch at twitch.tv slash mandatory quest i stream there every monday wednesday and sunday board games uh, other games i just like to play a lot of stuff we're a nice fun community so come hang out if you like strategy games turn-based games anything like that that's the kind of stuff that i like to play so thanks for watching guys and hopefully i'll catch you on the next video Bye.